गुड इवनिंग कैन यू हियर मी यस हेलो टीचर यस टीचर गुड इवनिंग Teacher, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. We can listen, teacher. Good night, no. everyone. No, we only see your gestures. <laughs> Good evening. Good night. Oh, good evening. Good evening. No yet. In a second. Oh, I see. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right, good. Yes, teacher. All right, welcome back. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, how, how was the weekend? Um, very nice. <laughs> okay. Have you rested? A lot. <laughs> Maybe too much. Okay. What about the others? How was the weekend? Veronica, Henry, Gloria, Luis. It was Very good. good teacher. 
Nice. Very so, good, teacher. Okay, so you are enjoying your family and everything. Yes. Of course. Yes. That's good. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's part of the idea, you know, like if you're going to be home, you might as well enjoy uh, the people that live there with you. Yeah, yeah right? with them. Exactly. Something that uh, on a regular period, you know, we don't have the time that we have now to, to enjoy them. All right. So what's today's date? Nice. Today is June 8th. June 8th. Yes, today is June 8th. Oh, hey. Yes, and what's the year? 2020. 2020, that is correct. Okay, briefly, uh, do you remember what we did on Thursday? Hmm. We saw a lot and stress, stress in the world. Uh, what was that again, Ricardo? Uh, we saw about stress okay. in the world. Yes, stress in words. Now that, that is good. Yeah, yes. remember that uh, when you identify the stress of each word, you sound better, you sound more natural. So that is really important to identify where the stress is in, uh, in each word that we use. Very good. Uh, what else did we do? I use infinitive and gerunds. Okay, infinitives and gerunds. Uh, what's the difference between infinitives and gerunds? Um, that that is to, that is today's topic, but it's good that you already uh, watch this okay. in, in the platform. Yeah. So um, infinitives is when you say that I need to go. I use my pen to take notes. That's infinitive. And gerunds is when you use the ing form. And yeah. the two options are good. The two options are valid. Uh, but the structure changes a little bit. But okay. we'll talk about that. What else did we talk about on Thursday? And um, Veronica? Wait. Request with model and would you mind? Exactly. Would you mind? Can you? Could you? Can you? Could yes. You. So you, you sound more, um, you sound better when you use models, when you need to make a request or when you need something. So it is highly recommended that people use models when asking for something. Yes. Yeah, you sound more polite. That's the word that I was looking for. You sound more polite. Yes. Okay. Um, anything else that we spoke about on Thursday? We made an exercise of the future perfect. About that? What was the exercise? Perfect. Future perfect. Yes. Future perfect, okay. When do we use future perfect? Which occasions? How many tenses do we have in English, grammatical tenses? Remember, uh, we have 12 tenses, 12, including future perfect. So, how do you say, a, a las nueve y cinco ya habremos terminado? How do you say that in English using future perfect? 9 p.m. We will finish. We will have finished. Habremos terminado. We will have finished. Yes. Okay. Now you can say at nine o'clock we will finish, and that's fine. The message basically is the same, but grammatically speaking, mm -hmm. the structure is a little bit different. 
So yes, uh, we okay. were using different futures to talk about what you guys were going to do on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today. And today, yes. All right, uh, okay. are there any questions, uh, Rick? Anybody, any Yes. Uh, I understand uh, we use the present perfect. Uh -huh. When we talk about uh, the, uh, the action in the future, um, but we know a date or time. Yes. Uh, yes, you use present perfect to talk about actions in some cases that you're doing right now, and therefore the future is included, but you don't mention when. Now you use future okay. perfect, you use future perfect to talk about um, finished activities in the future. Okay. So, so they, they uh -huh. Yes, Gloria. Gloria. Yes. I is disconnected. What is disconnected? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Was disconnected. Okay. Yeah, and he's sending me a message that the that the band is low right now. I wonder why. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay, so Gloria, you, you were saying something. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I understand uh, we use the present perfect when we start an action in the actually or, or currently. Uh -huh, currently. Uh, but uh, this action finish in the future. Right. I the, we don't know the the day exactly or the time. Exactly. So one example can be I have been in Lourdes for eight years, and I continue in Lourdes, and only God knows when will be my last year okay. here. So yes, uh, you talk about, you use the present perfect when you're talking about something that you started, you already started, and you don't know when, sometimes when it will happen. You're right. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Yes. Yes. All right. I... All right, anybody it's else? Clearly now. All right, good. Good, Gloria. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No? No. What is yes. the correct pronunciation when you use the contraction, the I will? I'll. 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 Yes. I'll. Yes. But some people say, I'll. I'll call you later. I'll tell you tomorrow. The right pronunciation is I'll, but some people pronounce I'll. Ah. I'll go to work, I'll tell you in a minute, I'll send you the report tomorrow morning. Yes. Any other questions or comments? No? No. No. All right, so um, let's go with the first uh, exercise, the one Ricardo mentioned. Um, what do you use your cell phone for? Make calls. To make calls. Uh -huh. To make calls. Now, can you see my screen? To make calls. Yes. Yes. Okay. For calling someone. For calling someone. 
Okay, for calling someone. Okay, good. So um, the first person said to make calls, and then someone else said for calling someone. The two options are good. Okay. Um, infinitives, when we talk about infinitives, we're talking about verbs that need the preposition to, like the three examples that we have in the screen. Infinitives, I use my computer to send emails. Or I could say, I use my computer for sending emails. Second example, some people use the computer to play games. Or I could say some people use the computer for playing games. And the last example says computers are often used to watch movies online. Or I could also say computers are often used for watching movies online. And the two options will be good. So once okay. again, uh, when you're talking about uh, the purpose or the usage of objects, you can use infinitives, which are the three examples that we have here. Or you can use gerunds. Gerunds is when you use ing with the verb. Are okay. there any questions or comments with the image that you have uh, that you're seeing right now? Okay, so if you have a car, what is one of the functions that you have uh, for your car? I use my car. What? For driving to the market. For driving to the market. Okay, or to drive to the market. Good. Okay, someone else? What's the function of your car? To go to my work. Okay. Uh, one more time. I use my car for. Uh, I use my car to go shopping. To go shopping. Okay, good. Good. All right, so uh, infinitives, you have the base form of the verb, but you need to use the preposition too. Are these examples clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now these are infinitives. Let me show you gerunds. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can you, you, can you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, use gerunds. I use my cell phone for calling my friends. Some people use their cell phones for chatting with other people. With other people. And the last example says cell phones are cell phones. often used often for taking use. videos. Taking videos. Exactly. So we have gerunds and we have infinitives. <laughs> Gerunds, like the three examples that we have here, you use them for uh, when you use the preposition for. Okay. Okay, you have 10 issues. Everybody must have 10 issues. What is the function of your 10 issues? What do you use them for? I use my 10 issues. Uh, what is it? I use my 10 issues. I use my 10 issues. To run a career. To run? What, what is the last word that you said? A, a career? Uh, I use my... You I mean use my to run? Shoes. Yes, Ricardo, please. I use yeah. my, my tennis shoes. I use my tennis shoes for running long distances. Okay, for running long distances or to long run long distances. distances. Okay, good. Someone Too else. Long, long distances. Okay, someone else. Uh, another example. Why do you use your tennis shoes? I use my, my tennis shoes to play in soccer. For playing soccer. For playing for soccer. Play. Or for to play, play soccer. Yeah, so you can say for playing or to play. The two options are good. Okay. I use, I use yeah. my tennis shoes 
to do exercise. Good, to do exercise or for yeah. doing exercise. Good, well, very good. Okay, uh, anybody else wants to share an example? You have a television at home. What's the function of the television? For watching movies. Good, for watching movies or I need a television to watch movies. Very good. Anybody else? Stereo, what's the function of the stereo in your house? Or listen to music. Listen to music. To listen to music or for listening to music? For listening to music. Yes, for listening or to or listen. To listen. Or right. to listen music. Right, good. Yeah. All right, any questions or comments so far? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Aleida. And I don't know if I'm clear, but with, when you use gerunds, you going to use for and the verb in ing. Exactly. And when it's infinitive, you are going to use to in the basic form of verb. Exactly. You're right. Okay, thank you. Yes. That's clear. All right. So let's do one exercise. Uh -huh. All right, let me see this here. Do you see the image in the in your cell phone or computer? Yes, teacher. All right, let me take a picture. Eight to nine p.m. You can also take a screenshot if you prefer. Let's see this here. There you have it, I'm sending it right now. So I will have you working in pairs so you guys can practice um, this topic. I will make seven pairs and here we go. Just to see a movie after work. Or of 
foreseen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. all right. Uh, you, you have never mentioned to live in Japan. Before, how long did you live there? If it in past or in the present, you never mentioned to live in Japan. You never mentioned to live. Yeah, it's fine. I I think you can use uh, gerund on infinitive. The both are correct. In that case, you know, there are some verbs that they sound better uh, by using well, the ing form. Exactly. Uh, so you can say, you never mentioned living in Japan before, so the gerund form sounds better. So, okay. We, okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Right. My old job back. Uh -huh. Yes. In the uh, in the years, uh, there's an example, uh, I can use gerund in infinite in both. Uh, which, which number? Is number one and mm. number two, we have duda. Doubt. The, the two options are Doubt. good. So okay. Dan enjoys reading science fiction and he enjoys to read science fiction. The two options are good. Cheryl suggested seeing a movie after work and she suggested to see a movie after work. The two options are good. Okay. But don't there you are... for, for 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 Jeron, don't use for. Uh, which, which suggested seeing a movie. You don't you don't you don't do that because it's not a purpose. It's only a, a suggestion that the person made. So uh, Cheryl suggested just... seeing a movie, or she suggested to see uh, a movie. Yes. Yes, it's uh, not Cheryl suggesting for seeing. Seeing. I, I don't, no, 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 no. Pero entonces no usamos la preposición. Not in this case, because it's not a purpose. It's only a suggestion that she was making. Okay. That's why. Okay. Okay. Right. There is no... Hello, hello? Hello. Which number are you doing? Eight. The number eight. Oh, okay. You guys are going a little bit fast. <laughs> yes, a little <laughs> bit. All right, good. It, he keeps to, to walk with a book balanced on their heads. And with Jerons, the models practice for working with a book balanced on their heads. Okay, number 13. Mandy has promised to take care of her dog while we are on vacation. And using Jeron, Mandy has promised for Taking care, taking care of our of our dog while we are on vacation. Holy, okay. Do you okay. want to read the, the next? If you keep to come to work late, uh, I can see the the last sentence. Oh. <laughs> He's going to get fired. Good. Sandra did to study economics in London. Decided uh, is was the right pronunciation because I can see as well mm -hmm. this this word. Sandra Which decided, number? Okay. Mm. Um 
17. 17. 17. 17. Oh, decided economics in London. Decided to study economics in London. Yes, or Sandra decided for study in economics in London. Okay. Next one. Uh, with witnesses, witnesses report to see the bank robber as he was climbing up. No titube sería o no vacile en preguntarle si necesita por ayuda si no le entiendes la mm -hmm. dirección. Let me see. Para esta palabra casi nunca se ocupa. No se Let me see another word. You guys finished? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. All right. We are yes. looking the meaning. Right. We are looking the meaning of some word we didn't know. Oh, for example. Um, in the dim sum. What is it? Dim sum. Dim sum. But which dim sum which? Restaurant in twenty one. Oh, twenty one. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, we're in Hong Kong. Oh yeah. All right. So let's go back. So, how far did you go in the document? Uh, with Victor, we finished all the, the document. Okay. But Mariela, what is it? We finished with Mariela. Okay. All right, good. So, let me... Um, Right there. Okay, so let's uh, let's where is this three point two? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, uh, Alida. It's about the pronunciation of promised or promised. No, promised. Promised. Yeah, promised. Okay. Yes. Um, read, rather, I don't know how, how do you. Say rather? It? Rather. Okay. R A T H E R. Rather? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Rather. Rather. Yes. Okay, so let me. Um, let me. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes, Patricia. Angel, always use for. Okay, if it's for purpose, like if I said, I use this pen for taking notes. If it's used for a purpose, then you need to use for. Now, if it's something else like advice, suggestion, or recommendation, you can use it without uh, the preposition for. But if it's for a purpose, like you guys were saying, I need my car for going to work. I need my car for visiting my family. If uh, because you're you're expressing the function of the car. So if you are using it to express a purpose of something, then you need to use for. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anything else? No. Okay, let no, me. Teacher. Let 
Now we go with pronunciation. Okay, do you see the word document? Yes. Okay, I need a volunteer. Yes, yes. I need a volunteer to read uh, what's on the top, please. Somebody. Me, teacher? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Pronunciation. Read the, the, yes. the topic. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Pronunciation. How many syllables does each word have? Uh -huh. Where and, is the stress of the word? Okay. Good. Thank you. So uh, let me ask you how do you identify the number of syllables in a word? So if I use the word um, cell phone, how many syllables do you hear in the word cell phone? Two. 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 two is correct. How do you know it's two? For the stress of the word. Okay. And how do you identify the stress of the word? So everybody said two. Okay, what do I mean? Pronunciation. It's about pronunciation. But when you say pronunciation, what exactly do you mean? You say transportation. How many syllables in transportation? Four. Four, four is correct. Four, four is correct. How do you know it's four? So you, you guys, uh, for the I, pause. Uh, excuse me? For the pause, for, for your pronunciation. For Trans okay. For the stress between the syllable. Right, uh, it's like you said, well, you know, when I said uh, uh, computer, I hear three syllables, computer, yeah. right? But how do you identify the syllables? You identify the syllables of a word according to the number of vowels that you hear. So when you say computer, you have an O, you have a U, and you have an E. Computer. So you hear three vowels. Vowels are A, E, I, O, U. If you hear three vowels, that means that the word has three syllables. Transportation, transportation, you have A, O, A, O. You hear four vowels and that indicates that the word has four syllables. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. When you say El Salvador, how many syllables in El Salvador? El Salvador. Four. 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 How do you know? Because you have four vowels. Exactly, because you hear four vowels. Now remember something. When you want to uh, identify how many syllables the word has, you need to identify the vowels that you hear, not the vowels that you see. Because there are many words in English that you see a vowel, but it's quiet, it doesn't count. Or in some cases, you have diptongs. What is a diptong? What's a diptong? Un diptongo. Do you remember when you went to school? Diptongo. of two vowels. Exactly. So, so you have the union of two vowels, but the two vowels produce only one sound. In some cases, they are independent. 
like like this one here. How do you pronounce this animal? Dinosaur. 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 How many syllables does dinosaur Dino. have? Three. Dinosaur. Three. Three. I. Have oh, four, but only and, and, and here we have a deep tone, exactly. There are four vowels, but you only hear three. Because A-U, that's a deep tone. So you say dinosaur, right? And that's how you identify where the stress of the word is. Now, uh, are we okay with that explanation? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we have Catholic, Encyclopedia, Interesting, Dinosaur, Transparent, Invisible, Reunited, Biology, Hospital, and Immature. Now be careful with the first one. In Spanish we say Catolico. So sometimes when we say this word in English we say Catholic, but it's not Catholic, it's Catholic. It's Catholic. The stress is in the first part. And also this one here, in Spanish we say transparente. So in English, you, sometimes people say transparent, but it's not transparent, it's transparent. Transparent. Okay, um, any questions with this exercise here? Yes, in the case of interesting, how uh -huh. many uh, syllables they have? Because okay. the interesting, uh -huh. it, uh, I think that it, that it sounds like three. Interesting. Yes. Exactly. And three is the correct answer. And, and this is another example. You have I, E, E, and I again. You see four vowels, but when you pronounce the word, you only hear three. So you say interesting. 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 Okay. Exactly. So um, any questions about what you will you will do right now? So you guys are gonna be working in pairs. And um, you, you're going to work with your partner and you will pronounce each word. You will identify where, how many syllables the word has. And also you need to identify where the stress is. Are we okay. ready? Okay. Ready, Freddy? Here we go. As to syllables, why? Right. So, and so. then, and see, and see, well, I think it's inside. 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 Encyclopedia. <laughs> yes. It's kind of a long word. Encyclopedia. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Okay. Uh -huh. Syllables. The, there are yes. five syllables. Sea levels. Sea levels. And then, 
Cool. Interesting. You say it was three. Interesting. 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 Yes. Interesting. 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 And then. No. Reunit or reunit? Reunite. Reunited. Reunited. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Reunited. Reunite. Reunite. Four. Uh, re see, yeah, four. Reunite. No, in Spanish we say trans transparent. Uh -huh. But in English is transparent. Transparent. Yes. Oh. Where is the stress? Transparent. Is it one, two, or three? Okay. Transparent in the two one. Exactly, in the second one, yes. Biology three. Biology. 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 Three is correct. Biology. How many vowels Bi do you hear? Four. Four is correct. Four, Four is correct. Four. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, how do you pronounce encyclopedia? Encyclopedia. En what? Encyclopedia. 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 The correct is five syllables. Six. Or four. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Oh, okay. Encyclopedia. Okay. Yes. Encyclopedia. Okay. Encyclopedia. Which one are you doing? In the reunited teacher. Uh, which one? Reunited. 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 Okay. How many syllables do you hear? Three. Three. Re reunited. Reunited. How many? Four, teacher. Four is correct. Four. Reunited. Yeah, in that case, all the vowels are pronounced. Reunited. Okay. Yes. Biology. Biology. What for? And A and U is next, is two vowels. So it counts just one. Which word? In reunited. Reunited. Yeah, reunited. How many syllables are there? Reunited. Three. I guess four. Four is correct. Reunited. Four, uh. four is correct. Okay. Reunited. Okay. Yeah. What is the pronunciation of the encyclopedia? Encyclopedia. 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 How many syllables? Encyclopedia. Five. You sure? Five. Five. You sure? Encyclopedia. Yeah. In encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Are you sure? Look. Pedia. Uh, uh huh. Encyclopedia. Because ah. uh, the last, the last I and A, they are independent. So you have two vowels at the end. Encyclopedia. Teacher. Yes. But it counts. 
It counts just when it's at the end of the word because in reunited there is uh, two values. In exactly, but it, so say reunited. So you have four reunited. You have four syllables. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So when you identify, when you separate the, the sound of the vowel? Um, you know, example, there, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. there is no rule. There is no rule uh, to explain how words are pronounced, like in general. So it's, it's only practice, Henry, just practice. Okay. Okay. The same is for the the stress of the word. Only exactly. Stress. Exactly. Exactly. So so that's why it's necessary that you guys expose yourselves to the language as much as possible. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. The stress in the transparent or transparent. No, transparent. 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 The stress in trans. Where is the stress? Transparent. Transparent. Listen carefully. Transparent. Transparent. You go like this. Transparent. Transparent. Okay, the stressing is cut. Exactly. So the second the second syllable has the stress of the word. Transparent. Is it clear? Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. I think we finished. All right, you yes. guys finished? Yeah, we finished. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Thank you. All right. Um, how do you pronounce the first word? Catholic. Good. Catholic. How many syllables? Three. 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 Where's the stress? In the first. In the yeah, first right. syllable. Yeah. Very good. Very good. What about this one here? How many syllables in encyclopedia? Six. Four. Uh -huh. Six, four. Four. Six. Five. 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 Listen carefully. Encyclopedia. 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 Five. I think it's five. Six. Uh, I don't know who I was working with, and I said that it was they were they were five, but the correct number is is six. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Okay. Encyclopedia. And, and where's oh, the stress? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And why? Okay, did somebody yeah, ask anything? Trouble, huh? Okay, let's go back. Where is the stress in encyclopedia? Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Yes. P. Okay. What about the, the next one? How many syllables? Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Three is correct. Where is the stress? The first one. In the first one. Good. Dinosaur, how many? No. Three. Three as Three. well. Three. Where is the stress? Dinosaur. Oh, so. so where's the Dino. stress? The first one? Yeah, the first one. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Uh-huh. What about the other one? Transparent. Transparent. How many? Transparent. Three. Three, Three is correct. Where is the stress? The second. Exactly. Good. 
invisible 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 have four four, 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 four is correct four. where is the stress the second one two. in the second one yes invisible yeah. Good. reunited reunited how many four four, four is correct four, four. where is the stress three and the first one. The first yes, one. very good. Biology, biology. Four. 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 Four is correct. Where is the stress? No. The, the second, second one. 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 Uh-huh, in the second one. Hospital. Hospital. Three. 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 Where is the stress? In the first one. The first one. Exactly. And then we have immature. 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 Four. Four. Immature. Immature. Uh, three. 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 Three is correct. And where is the stress? The last one. The first. Immature. In the first Immature. Immature. All right. The first. How many, how many syllables? Three. Three. Immature. Immature. Okay. All right. You guys are, are doing really, really good. Good. Um, any questions about today? No? All right. So uh, we're going to stop here. We continue tomorrow. Thank you for your time. You guys have a good night. Good night. Good night. All right, see you later. Good night, everyone. Bye.